Hello guys. Today we have pumpkin seeds, obviously. To keep you calm, if you repair something, you need something. This is the most safe truck ever. Okay, enough fun. We got CD player techniques. You can see repaired this long time ago and I needed to you see the rubber band is loose so it's a little bit more noisy when you close did you hear reading fine fast yeah but yeah this is not about this rubber band I just disassemble this to have a look what's going on and we'll probably measure the emitter and, and get another rubber band before it will fail completely. But this CD player didn't read disk. As you can see, there is some hack. So the resistor R357 is basically in series with this motor which spin you see that that spin disc and uh, it spins disc and uh, when it started obviously um, the current is high so maybe that's the reason it's overheat for short time you see even that green one it's got like burn mark I am not sure what was the original one, but I guess it was smaller than that green one is 4.7, but I guess the, it wasn't enough. It was burning at the beginning and it wasn't enough to spin the disc as well. So I found this one is 2.2, 2 2R2, 2.2 ohm, and it seems to be nice and... Uh, not burning but i didn't want to disassemble things so i just soldered it on the top to disassemble this you need to remove one one two three four screw and then you need to remove all screw from the back remove back panel and then you can remove this board because these connectors you see you can't lift it you can't lift it up so you need to go back to unplug this con this connector is just plugged so you just pull it up this connector you need to open turn it out we'll turn it off we have 220 over there but low voltage here so this connector you lift this up you need to open this connector lifting this up you see now we can remove that wire see so I'm not disassembling right now. Make sure it's deep enough and lock it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna break the connector. And this connector is the same from power supply. There are two parts, so you need to lift both to lift both parts and then unplug. as you can see I swapped these con capacitors I don't I'm not sure why maybe I had just feeling these are better but it was a few years ago so and I have to tell you you see there is missing diode here so it's possible a diode burned not sure if it uh, has something with this Maybe, maybe, maybe diode burn fan and then this resistor burned. I don't remember, it was a few years ago. 
but there is a diode from the bottom so I replaced that bio diode it's like rectifier diode and yeah I just put just basic things like 1 and 40 0 1 or something like that so now we got a CD player unfortunately this system what is it Sony Panasonic is movement this way actually don't hold track very well it's it's really sensitive so you you really need something heavy underneath that CD player if you don't want it to jump and uh, not sure what else to say I can just say if you have this problem it should close on its own I don't know it looks like good design but it's crap there's nothing inside okay so if you have problem like this make easy things and enjoy can you hear that very wobbly can you hear that jumping maybe this disc this doesn't look original by the way so it's possible I was playing uh, original disc this disc looks like fake mm, anyway can be all laser as well but it can be all disc this disc I would say it got 30 years for sure 30 years on me okay guys so if your CD don't spin, try this, maybe you will be lucky. Thanks for watching guys, see you on another one. And don't forget, get some pumpkin seeds. <laughs>